Hey, Lamani. <laughs> Bread, really? Hey, Crystal. Hey, Coffee. Hey, Lady T. What's going on? Hey, Ben Vaughn. Hey, Crafty Girl. As y'all join, make sure y'all hit that like button. Let me know y'all are here to get it in today. Hey, Nalib. Just gonna wait for some more people to join. As y'all can see, I got my laminator going today. Um, because I am going to do, um, hey Antoinette, I'm going to show y'all how I make my reusable dashboards. Um, so I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to do what I kind of consider the easier way. And I have something on my laminator that's in here. Do anybody know how to clean their laminators? Hey, Natanya. Hey, Motivator Roll. Hey, Deidre. These ones that I'm laminating are just basic ones. I want to show y'all um, how I actually do it. And for time's sake, I did already cut everything out. Run plain paper through it. Thanks, coffee. I know coffee was gonna know how to do it. Coffee know how to do everything. Coffee know how to do everything except for invite me to Memphis. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. And I know how to get, what did it, is this one little strip right here. I don't, I know y'all can't see it because it's laminated paper. So today I am going to try to do three things. One, show y'all how to um, make these reusable laminate pocket um dashboards with pockets um once i show y'all how to do it you really i mean it's pretty much easy from there it's working because i can feel whatever it is on the paper it's something that must have melted so i'm gonna just run it through one more time hey susie Hey, Jalen. So, yeah, so I am going to do, uh, the first thing is the reusable dashboard covers, one with a regular square pocket and the other with a secretarial or secretariat style pocket. And then hopefully um, I can go through and do my setup for my TN. Yeah, and work coffee because it's not coming off on the paper. Thanks, girl. Yes, I need you to do better. Coffee, I really do. <laughs> and so, um, I already pre-cut everything. I have templates that I use. And I know y'all probably like, well, why don't you make stuff for <laughs> us? The struggle be real, y'all. I, I, yeah, yeah. I wish I could make stuff for other people. But right now, the way my life is set up, I don't have the time. And I'm just going to kind of use this insert hey sissy 
I'm gonna use this insert just kind of as a um, foundation. Hey, Tasha! Oh, the planner, the missus, the missus in the help. <laughs> So I'm going to get straight into this because like I said, I want to do these two and then um, it's just a 12 hour drive. Hey, we was going to drive 13 hours. So I'm a good rider. I'm a good co-pilot. <laughs> um, so I want to do these two reusable dashboard covers. I want to hopefully be able to do my setup in my TN and kind of talk about this whole one planner challenge. And then of course, and in prayer as usual so again make sure y'all are hitting that like button and if you are driving coffee just listen you know i'll leave my video up hey planner mama and stuff so i'm gonna get straight into this so what i start out um these are the laminate um pockets and i'll just show you what i use i have a scotch laminator and this is what I use, the thermal laminating pouches. And this is, um, I get this from Amazon for $10. It's 100 in the pack. And this is the three millimeter. Um, I know a lot of people ask because I guess the um, higher grade is a little bit thicker. Hey, Jane. Hey, Mimi. I ain't talked to you in a long time. So, yeah, this is three millimeter. And... Before I get to starting, I am not an expert. I am not trained. I'm just a learn as I go type of person. So all of this stuff I've learned how to do from trial and error. I know some of y'all saw when I first got my laminator when I tried this. And I'm looking at the screen so y'all can pretty much kind of see this pretty good. I did have my um, board here. Let me see how this will do. Okay, you can see it a little bit better on the pink side. So, we're going to start with the one laminated pouch. And what I do, like I said, I create templates for myself as I do stuff to, you know, so I can have it. Hey, Atia. Atia, was you in Memphis too? Because I know you be going everywhere too. <laughs> and as I said, I have markings. And if y'all have one of these craft boards um, and you know that you have a certain thing that you measure all the time just mark it it's yours it don't have to be cute so i have markers on here but i also make templates and i normally where's my template that's scraps i was trying to be organized before i got on here y'all and that fast i can't find what i'm looking for that's what i'm looking for no, you weren't there? Okay, I don't feel bad. So I use this VB pouch that I got with kits to store because it fits everything. And I have, you know, different size templates here. This is my B6 template. So this is like for when I need to cut my paper if it doesn't have lines. So like if you print your insert and you don't have lines, this is what I use. And this just is for one sheet. This was, I don't know what this was. And this is my template for the actual inserts, as you can see. Um, and then I have my A5 stuff. And this is just papers printed wrong. And then I have my standard size. So when y'all are cutting and having oops and misfit cut stuff, just save it so you can have templates. Um, because if any of you are into the Traveler's Notebooks, having a template um, instead of having because I'm not good with like measurements and pulling out the ruler centimeter millimeter all that kind of stuff that and you know whatever um, hey Kimberly so yeah so we gonna get right into this and this is for B6 so I've already pre-cut um, so what you do is when it's cut the shiny sides are on the outside in the order for your pocket to um, open up when you cut it you want the shiny sides to touch each other and the frosty um, sides to be on the outside. So all I do is literally pull it apart and then just put the 
back one on the front and it does what you need it to do. And normally I would cut it in half because I, me personally, I like to have a little bit of spine in the middle. That's just my preference. But this is the easier way. Um, and I know uh, a lot of people that you can actually buy these from, they make them like I'm going to make them. Now, I like top loading. I think top loading is way easier than side loading um, or like those little triangle um, parts. So I like top loading. So you also want to make sure your paper is clean because this frosted part and the laminate part catches everything. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So you open it up. And it's good if you use this um, board because you have the measurements and stuff. And that way you can kind of line your paper, I mean your dashboard up so it won't be you know crazy and I mean if you guys have the time to do this especially if you know most everyone is trying to watch their coins like I said you can get a pack of these off of Amazon for $9.99 and if you go to my Amazon link in my description box and you click on it um, on one of my lists it actually has the laminate pockets and you figure you spend $10 for a hundred of these and you probably spend like 10 or $20 just for one laminate pocket um, so, I mean, and once you have this concept, it's pretty easy. And um, like I said, I just kind of try to line this up here. And then I open it up. And being that this is a B6, I'm going to have a lot of room. When I do my A5, I don't really have any um, wiggle room. So that's why if when I do my um, A5s, I have to be really careful. Um, so what I normally try to do is get this as close to the edge as possible so I, all, I don't have a lot of cutting to do um, and I lay that right there and I know you probably can't see but it's literally like right on the line so I'm not gonna have to cut this off at all the only thing I'll have to cut is this top part where the opening is and some of this side panel as well as this so we're gonna add a pocket to this so I've already pre-cut um, this is going to be my square pocket and this is going to be my secretary secretary pocket and what I did um, this time to make it a lot easier for myself hey crafty man instead of um, I folded the paper over so this is actually folded and as you can see this is a shiny side inside and I folded it and I used I forgot what you call this knife, but it's what you use to fold a folding knife or whatever. And I just creased it and then I cut it with a scissor. I just eyeballed it. Um, now, me personally, I like my secretary pocket to be on the left side. Um, so what you want to do, depending on how close you want it to the edge, you can either put it like right there. Um, I like to just literally, if you see this line right here, I like to put it like that. So it's not super close to the edge and then I raise it up just a little bit so now you, what you want to do is just close this carefully because this stuff will shift um, so as you can barely see I have my pocket here and I have my um, other laminate sheets that's going to double as my actual insert dashboard insert so when you grab it um if i had something that i could do like the little pizza thing it'll be easier but i always try to grab it like this and grab the bottom and when i slide it in i keep my hand on it because like i said this stuff will shift and i just got it through and normally I will let it go once I know the pocket has grabbed and because I haven't cut my um, in half I can let it go and like I said typically I half my pockets for my dashboard covers um, but this time I wanted to like I said do something a little bit different um, and so as you can see still got some of that stuff as it comes through you can see the shape of the actual um, part that's going to have the opening or the you know the part is going to be your dashboard so i'm just gonna put this back over here 
and I'll cut all of these after I run the other one. Because I think the cutting of the pockets is the most trickiest part, and I'm still trying to perfect that. Just still got a little bit of something on there. So then the next one that we're going to do... Where's my... Oh. I try to make sure I have these laminated pouches in clean spaces because it picks up everything, man. Y'all give me a thumbs up if y'all still here with me. I know y'all probably like trying to watch <laughs> so you don't miss a beat, but I'm going to keep this up. Um, and I decided to do this first because I know a lot of people wanted to see how I made these. Um, and I didn't want to make the people that don't watch my whole live replay i didn't want to make them suffer <laughs> so again i just do now if i was i'm actually gifting this to one of my um planner friends planner sis because she's all um you know i you know i'm just blessing one of my friends with this so i'm taking my time um but if this was me i wouldn't be lining it up trust me i would just be going with the flow so again this is the um, this is how it comes and all you do is just take the front and put it in the back or take the back and put it in the front don't flip the paper or nothing because then you'll get confused um, so like I said it's going to be the frosted side that shows okay coffee why are you laughing because I did my laugh or something and y'all I really my desire is to maybe possibly one day make these and i know i mentioned this at the top of the year that i said i wanted to make these but i'm the type of person i want to be consistent and i want to make sure with all my heart this is something that i want to do because i really don't want to do something and then down the road decide not to do it that's just me and now this pocket is a little bit wider than i want so I'm going to go ahead and cut this pocket. And I have my paper cutter, but because I don't want to shift this, I'm just going to cut it on my lap. So I'm just going to make it a little shorter real quick. How's everybody doing today? Hey, Dawn. I'm gonna actually make this a little bit shorter in width and length. I try to not make them too deep because I want to be able to still like either put like my journaling cards in there or my sticky notes and I wanna be able to still um, be able to grab you know them out if necessary or if I wanna put like a, um, what you call them things, a die cut in there, I wanna make sure that I'm able to get my die cut out. Yeah, this is perfect. Like I said, I wanted this pocket to just be a little bit wider um, so a, a nice journaling card can get inside if she wanted to. Well, and that's what I do for myself. Yeah. I normally have a fabric sheet because that helps. But it looks like this time it's not going to help. But anyway. The pocket will cover this up. And like I said, you got to be very careful. So if you do go to wipe it or whatever, make sure you put pressure because this has shifted. And so I'm going to put my pocket as close to the end and a little bit distant from the bottom. We get to be dry for a day in Cali. I know that's right. Our weather has been so up and down. Hey, Felicia. Hey, Karen. It's snowing. Hey, Dawn. I don't know if I said hi to you, Dawn. So, again, you just carefully fold it over. And once you fold it over, you can kind of tell if you need to um, adjust it. And I do because this right side is a little bit off. And so what I do, since the tip of the X-Acto knife is super... Um, thin I'll normally go in and just kind of tap it with the tip of the exacto knife because I'm telling you this 
stuff really adheres to the laminate when you flip it. Okay, that's perfect. So again, since, oop, and look, there's a piece of hair in here. This thing pick up everything, y'all. Everything. And that's another reason why I'm like, I haven't started this yet because I don't want to sell this and it be, um, please pray for a family member of mine. Okay. If you want me to be more, if you, if you want to email me, Felicia, as well, um, you can and we can, you know, pray together or something like that as well. You're waiting for the snow to get there, Lord. I ain't waiting for no snow. So, um, yeah, so, and that's another reason why I'm kind of hesitant to start making these because if I sell them, I don't want to have any imperfections, um, at all. <laughs> and see, look, the pocket is a little crooked now. Crooked, crooked. You say tomatoes, I say tomatoes. And this, this board helps a lot with making sure you're straight because it has lines all the way throughout so this is perfect so i'm gonna go ahead and hold this in tight because i do not want this pocket to shift at all and i'm gonna run this one through and i'm not gonna let go of this one because since the pocket is on this side until it gets all the way to the um part where it catches because I promise you it will shift on you like nobody's business I have wasted why well, I gonna say wasted because I end up um and so now you can let go so what I do is any of my scraps I save I save them for pockets um, unfortunately the stuff that's already laminated you can't save for pockets um, but like if you want to make if you have like a happy planner and you want to make a snap in insert and I've done this before you can just um, because well it's thick so you can cut this and punch holes in it and then put adhesive tape and use it to um, be like a pop in okay so I have my covers made and germ branded okay it's like that. okay so I have my pockets made. And so what I want to do first before I bend it, this one got something in there. Before I bend it, I want to go ahead and cut it. Um, and what I always do, and it's good to have your um, reusable dashboards a little bit taller and a little bit wider because when they fold over, you want them to um, still cover your insert. So you can have a little bit extra on there so we're gonna go ahead and cut these first um, so this is the top part so you can actually go and just um, right where the line is at I don't know if you can see this let me see let's see if you can see so see where the line starts? That's where you cut the top off and it'll open up for you. And like I said, I, my measurements should be good. Yep. So I'm gonna go right in here and just Chop the top off. See? And I took a little bit extra because it was a little bit longer, um, a little bit longer than I wanted. Yes, it's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now I'm just gonna take this little tip off. And you don't want to get too close to the line because if you do, that thing will slip. Because I've had that happen to me as well. I'm just like a hair too close in the whole thing just just the waist hey diamond
because it's a set, I want to make sure it's cut evenly. Y'all, I'd be embarrassing if this ain't do right. <laughs> So now you have your opening. So the reason why I did it this way, because when you measure your paper, all you have to do is literally take your paper, measure it for the size of the insert, cut it, and then just put it in. I'm not gonna cut this paper, but you just put it in and you fold it so you don't have to worry about doing a whole lot of separate cuts and you see it goes all the way to the bottom so what we're going to do now before i cut the pockets open we're going to go ahead and fold the ends um the cover and i like to round my corners so we're just going to round it with a corner rounder i just think it gives it more of a um cleaner and a professional look. Your honest still in the ICU? Well, Donna, I'm going to keep the video up so you didn't miss anything. So, I'm just going to take this and line it up. And if you don't have one of these, you can use anything. You can use this. You can use the end of your Zacta knife. Um, but you know me, I feel like I got to have all the things to make me feel like I'm professional. And you just do it like this. And see, there you go. It fits right on in there. Like I said, I leave it a little bit longer just because sometimes if you're... In some of our inserts a little bit thicker um, but you can make them a little bit shorter too it just depends on your preference so now to go in and cut this pocket this is the tricky part I saw another planner babe use this and I tried to not use a metal ruler and that was the biggest mistake ever so if you can find you a metal ruler invest in one especially if you're doing a lot of cutting these work perfect when I'm doing my inserts because all I literally do is put this here. I use my rotator knife and just get right here on that line and cut. Now, mind you, got to make sure your fingers out the way. And I have long hands, so I can hold it all the way down. But you just take that blade, get right next to it. Psh, it's good. Now, I'm too scared to use the rotator um blade on the uh on the on the <laughs> laminate so i'm scared i'm gonna cut all the way down so what you want to do and as you can see let me see can you see can you see that little line right here that's where your air bubble is i know it's hard to see but you have like a little air pocket there that you just go in line your metal ruler I mean if you have a wooden ruler that probably work as well but I just think the metal ruler is bomb.com and I like to you might see my my hair but I like to get close because you'll hear it open like the seal will make like a noise so you know it's it's opening and I always try to start light when I cut So then what I do is I take the tip of my exacto knife to see if it'll open. And then I take the back side of the exacto knife to open it. So don't use the blade side. So when you poke it in, use the back of it to open the seal and turn it because the blade will still cut. And then now you have your pocket. And I was 
easy. And you just have to take your time. You just really, really have to take your time on it. Now, this one right here, this secretary pocket is the hardest because you cannot use this to cut. So, we're going to go ahead and fold this over first. Well, let me, oh, before I do that, what you want to also do, um, because you don't want your um, bands, your elastics to run, I go through with my um, larger hole puncher and it says large and I also have these on my Amazon shop if you can't find them at your local craft store I couldn't find them so I ordered them off a line so you just go in and slide this in and cut the top open sometimes it does good sometimes it doesn't never fail So this leaves a groove so your band will not rub and fray and all of that good stuff. And so you do it again on the other side. And you don't have to use the larger one, but I just think the larger one is better. And see, you got your little groove. I'm going to do this one again. Hold on, you guys. And you want to also make sure that you're getting it in the groove because sometimes you'll get it up here and it doesn't act right. So it is a little struggle trying to make sure it's right. And if you don't have one of these corner rounders, you can always use, let me show you, for example. If you have a hole punch, um, I think, again, I think uh, Scrap Craftastic did this on her, um, one of her videos. You just take the little bit of tip of the hole puncher and punch it and then you have a groove in it as well so if you don't have a corner rounder and you want to start working on these and you have a hole puncher I know my teachers got hole punchers you can use a hole puncher and you can do the same um well no not really <laughs> you can use that just for the tips I mean the inside and let's see And just to show you, it fits. This is my B6 right here. And it fits right on in there. And I just wanted y'all to see it in my other one so you can see the compare it because that one was empty. So these are all of my inserts for my B6. And I just, this is the new one that I made. So you see it fits, no hang time. So it fits perfectly. Let's take this out and set this aside. Y'all still here? I can't hear y'all. I can't hear y'all. Uh, I can't hear y'all. Uh, 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 I can't hear y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and and like I said, I like to use a smaller one for the outside. Or for the edges rather. Y'all hear me? Y'all looking, I know, right? So y'all don't want to miss nothing. So, I'm, up, I'm about to do the Ghetto Girl Pop. This one you got to be real careful doing because you can't 
use your ruler because it's not a straight line. So you definitely want to take your time when you're doing this, just like with cutting it. Um, you can't really tell, tell that it's not perfectly cut, but when you do your laminate, you can kind of see the outside of it. So you want to go into where this little, this, uh, line on the outside, like in the middle of that. I don't know if you can see that. So you have the pocket and then you have this air pocket around it. You want to cut in the middle, like right at the line around the middle so we go try to do this and hopefully y'all can see this hi yolanda hey leticia um i'm keeping this up so this is all i've been doing the first part so we're already in how many minutes are we in we're 36 minutes in i've been doing this for at least 30 minutes so when you go back and watch the replay this is going to be the first thing you see after this i'm going to do my setup in my a5 and talk about the one planner challenge Yes, I'm having a great day, great day. So again, this secretarial pocket is really, really tricky. And excuse me if y'all see my, because the glare is, is messing with my eyes. So I got to get a little bit close. Y'all see my little rusty edges. So you want to get right on that line where the pocket starts. And you can tell that you're doing the right thing because you'll start to see it opening as you cut. And you don't want to lift that blade up because it's going to start being jagged if you lift the blade up. And you don't want to put too much pressure because you don't want to cut through the other side. All right, you guys, I did it the first time. And like I said, you just take the back of your X-Acto knife and you know, and this is the trick. But after you cut it and you take the back of the X-Acto knife, if it doesn't open all the way up, you know you got to go back in with the blade. But see, now it's a secretary of pocket, secretary, secretary, whatever you want to call it. Sec, sec, tur, 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 tur. <laughs> Okay, so... I mean, I don't know how long some of y'all been rocking with me, but y'all remember the first time I did this, like, you did laminates? It was crazy. So, again, just folding it over. And, like I said, you don't have to have this. Let me just show you the proof, because I didn't have that when I first started. But, you know, with me, me, it's kind of a gift as a, in a curse, a gift and a curse. I feel like whenever I do stuff, I have to do it at a level of excellence, whatever I do. Um, so, like I said, it's just me personally. You don't have to have it. But you see, it does the same thing. You know, you might have to go in a little bit harder or whatever, but it does the same thing. Don't try to use a butter knife <laughs> or a plastic knife because it ain't going to work. And just to kind of show y'all how it look, I said I wasn't going to cut anything, but I think I have some old paper over here that I'm not using. Yeah. Okay, so, like I said, this is the easy way. This is not how I normally do mine. How I normally do mine, and I think I'm going to stop doing mine like that, this is how I normally would do mine. See how it's got the separation? So, this this is more advanced <laughs> this part is more advanced because you literally have to make sure you got your sizes right and then this way you just um cut your pieces like this this way i think is easier it saves time as well as um having to worry about being so precise with your cuttings because once you cut it for your pocket, you always got it. So let's go ahead. I'm just closing up my laminator. So let's see, where is my templates? What do I do with my templates? Y'all, what do I do with my templates? Here 
Well, how about this? Because this is these templates are based on something I did in the past. We are going to And what you want to do is um, when you measure it, you want to make sure you measure it right where the opening starts. So I'm going to take this and line this up here. And me personally, I always do mine just a little bit shorter because that's just what I do. <laughs> And you can either use a marker or, um, no, I might use a marker, but I don't feel like scrambling trying to find it. Hey, Tiffany, you see your B6 covers? Yes, these are for her. After she made me feel bad, she don't know I was going to make them, but she going to try to make me feel bad. Yes, Tiffany, I'm putting you on blast. She made me feel bad. I was like, no, she didn't say that. I was like, I was going to make her some. Then she made me feel sad. And then you can save your scraps. I have so many scraps, you guys, because everyone knows when you do your tin, you can use different scraps and stuff like that to um, decorate your tea in. And I'm just showing y'all how to, you know, how this will go in. And again, to me, to be honest, I think this is a lot easier. The top loading. Um, I know you didn't make, mean to make me feel bad. I know you was joking. Um, I think this is easier than top loading. I mean, to have top loading because it just slides right in. And I see so many people struggle with um, trying to get the, their inserts in. All right, I just need to take this down just a tad. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's better to have it a little too long than too short because you can go and just take a little bit off at a time. Hey, Courtney. See how easy that fits in, you guys? Now it's a little bit too long. Me too. Yeah, so all you gotta do, take your pen, whatever. And go back in. And I said, this is the easy part right here. It's just cutting it. And you have your dashboard cover. Yay! What time do you use? I usually start at um, 4.30. I usually start at 4.30. And I haven't done DIYs in a while. And I've had a lot of people ask me how I did these. Um, and since I've gotten a little bit better... I did cut this one a little bit too short, but that's cool. So what is my answer? I did cut this one a little bit shorter, but this is just an example. What you doing? Don't say you're making these because I'll send these to somebody else. So I, I cut this a little bit too short, but it will, if you cut it just right, it'll fit. And this has the pocket right here. So if you just want to st stick some... I'm sorry. She falling. She falling. So look at your, your secretary pocket. You can stick stuff in there. You got your inserts in here. And that's it. So that, you guys. So that was fast. That was fast and fun. Fast and fun. Y'all, Tiffany is falling. Shop LCA is falling. So y'all already know what that means. Hopefully, by the time the shop reopens, she'll have it down pat and she can put some full stickers on her shop. Okay, what did I do with the other one now? 
So these are the two. Uh, and let me go ahead and do this again. And like I said, you want to make sure you get it in the little slots. It'd be hard because it's folded and it's thick. And it's the wrong size, but it doesn't matter. Whether it's small or big, you still got that groove. Okay, you guys, that's two. And so these are the, um, these are just ones that I made. Uh, hey, Juicy, these are just plain pockets. They don't have any pockets on here. And I, I like to do a combination of pockets and no pockets because if you have adhesive pockets that you want to use, you can add your adhesive pockets to this as well. Now, another option as well in which I'm going to start doing because I get a lot of kits that have um, cardstock, decorative cardstock paper, I want to be able to start um, using them. Um, and then I want to use the accessories that go along with them. <laughs> Diamond, you may be next on the list. These are just um, B6 ones, though. Yes, yeah, she's reopening on March the 11th. If y'all need a code, you can use my code, 20 her lovely in all caps. It's up to you guys. And she also sells these jelly. Mine's is stuffed. She sells these jelly um, photo albums. Mine's is stuffed. Literally, um, I decided to take some of my stickers out. Um, I probably should have ordered a larger size because I went ham, eggs, and bacon. Um, but this has literally, <laughs> it has four books in this. So this is kind of like TN style. Um, and look at the hearts. So cute. So cute. So yeah, this is purple. And I add my, put my die cuts in here as well. So let's get started on the next project. Yes, sir. Oh, I, I like that. I wanted that I actually could have borrowed the iPad. Oh, no, I'm using it. Where your iPad at? Well, my iPad, it can't download games. Oh, well, you ain't download no games on this one. I know, but the one that I want is only on this one. Oh, well, I'm sorry. If I'm finished before it's time to take you home, you can use it. Okay, okay. okay. Can I get ice cream? That's not my ministry. That's your dad's ministry. Yes. I can't answer that. Let me finish doing what I'm doing, though. Okay, so. After being rudely interrupted by the boy. No, I'm what? joking. We love him. Him, him is so sweet. I'm a big boy now. I'm excited to start on my, yes, y'all, you know, this one planner challenge got me like, woo, child. And look, y'all can see my ugly desk underneath that, but we all family here. Who cares? Well, I care a little bit. <laughs> but now you can see the other side. Okay. Now we're in frame. So, um, this one planner challenge has been hard for me. So, I have my A5, that's my EDC, and that's my everyday carry. It's what I put in there for everything Shakisha Sims. And my B6 is all, you know, um, YouTube and plant, um, PR stuff, um, but it's all good. It's just for one month, but I know for me, I need to have at least two planners if nothing else. But it's a challenge. It's not a permanent thing. It's not saying that you have to throw away all your planners and just use one it's just just like how we did the um the uh what was it the 25 days of planner tips it's just a way for us to kind of figure out what works for us because there's so many options and for me i like to try my options out and i like to be the example for people so i do what i do because I want you all to be able to see the options. Just like how I am here, this is how I am in real life. Like, I want to be the person that I wish I had in my life when I was going through life. 
I want to be the person that I wish that I had when I first got into this planning community. Like, I went into this blind. I I ain't had no blinders. I was blindfolded. I didn't have on blinders. I was blindfolded. So, everything that I do is just for the next person, the newbie or the um, seasoned planner babe. So, you could be like, hey, man, I wish I knew that. Let me test this out. Um, so, the journey is for a purpose. It's not just for consumption um because a lot of times people do this for you know consumption they want to consume and buy everything and i mean that's fine if that's what you want to do but the way my pockets are set up i can't buy everything my ipad fell sorry um but um with that being said the journey this is for my a5 so we're going to go ahead and strip her yes her name is her and <laughs> we're going to strip her and we're going to get her straight for the month of March. Now, I don't plan on changing my planner every month. Not unless the kits that I get are just that fire. Um, but because March is leading into, you know, spring and stuff like that, this is perfect. Because we know that on next Sunday, time will be changing. So, y'all make sure y'all put spring forward daylight saving time in your planner and i need to make sure i do that i did not put that in my because i've already planned for the week in my a5 and then on the 20th is the first day of spring so i want to you know add the springiness and because it's a new season we're going to refresh with the villa beautiful refresh kit that's going to be the kit that i use for my complete setup in my a5 I'm starting to be 6'2", Kimberly. I'm having fun with Yes. And it brings out the craft animal in you. Like, I didn't realize how crafty I was until I got into a traveler's notebook. Like, I really didn't. So, this is my A5. This was actually a four-string A5, but I ordered some new strings from Foxy Fix because this is a Foxy Fix planner. Um, one of my planner sissies um, who... Is always on the hunt for stuff for me because somehow she got the plug she know how to find everything she found this for me um, at a good price um, and it was literally brand new um, so like I said it came with four strings but I'm a six string kind of girl so I watched a YouTube video figure out how to make it six strings and I did it um, and it was fairly easy I mean I just had to as you can see, the stitching right here is kind of doubled over. And that's how you make the six strings. And maybe, because um, I do want to get another cover for, like, you know, when it gets hotter, maybe something lighter. Hopefully by then, Tiffany from Shop LCA will be able to bless me. Because y'all know she makes the bomb TN cover. She's making B6 covers right now. So all of my girls on here that said that they're waiting for Tiffany, she makes custom B6 Traveler's Notebooks covers. And I'm telling you, Foxy Fix, Printer Press Teen, um, Mr. Kalu Gives, and what's the one? Shakespeare, they better watch out. Because Shop LCA is about to take over the TN cover game. I'm just saying. She the one that made my first TN. She made Baby. Baby's still back there. I use her for my, um, what do you call that stuff? My memory keeping. I still use that stuff. Um, baby not going to waste. But I found my love, and my love is an A5. I don't see myself being anything else. But with that being said, let's go ahead and strip her. Take this mail out. And this was a, a dashboard that I made just trying to play around not a dashboard. What do you call it? And I forgot to take this plastic off. Burp. <laughs> but this was a um, washi card that I made. This actually came from Villa Beautiful. I might make some more. So, and I have to get used to these pockets. I like them, but it doesn't allow me to put stuff in like that. But I have a trick for that. So, we're going to take all this stuff on. I'm just going to just kind of throw it on the floor for now. Um, so, we're going to just take these covers off and I don't have I need to get more um acetate um one of my planner friends 
Amber from Planning a Better Me. She gave like the perfect, um, if y'all trying to figure out how to layer your planners, she said, um, treat it like a sandwich. Your bread is the acetate. The vellum is your laminate. No. The bread is your acetate. The vellum is your lettuce. And then the insert is your meat. So you want to make sure you're setting it up like that. I mean, you don't have to. I guess you don't have to. But, I mean, the way that she said it, it just made sense. Because your vellum is delicate like lettuce. Your acetate is a little bit sturdy like bread. And then this is so meaty. It's the meat. Oh, you're welcome, Tiffany. And as I set this up, I will go through the inserts that I'm having here that I will be using. And this is exciting. I've never done a actual full on setup on camera. I just normally set it up and then kind of show you how I've done it. Okay, so if I didn't do all of that stuff, look how she look anorexic. She look like she got diabetes or something. No, no offense to my people that got diabetes. I don't know why I said that. Lord forgive me. Oh, child, sometimes my mouth be talking faster than my brain be thinking. So, yeah, so this is, and don't get it twisted. You don't have to do all the extras and stuff to your A5s and your travels. You don't have to do none of that stuff to none of your planners. I want people to know that, like, because I know being a content creator, you know, you all watch the stuff, get inspired, and you want to get all the things. But if all the things don't work for you, don't get all the things. Or just try maybe one or two inserts and see if you like it like that, and then go for there. Just like when I started, I wanted to have a really, um, hey, Lise, Lise, hey, Sissy. Oh, keep driving. That's, I mean, well, you don't have to look. <laughs> but get home safely. I will keep this up. You just missed me do the laminate covers, but that it will be up on the first part of the video. But, yeah, so when I first started, I wanted to have my top game to be, like, bomb. But as I started doing it, that top game was, like, in the way. So I like to do the dangles on the side. So my side game, I like to put um, clips and like y'all let me show y'all my clips these are just some of them Ooh. so these are my clips this is my clip dish and i want to show y'all this one right here oh my gosh sassy bows and charm i'm gonna i have to put her link in here if somebody on here put her etsy shop on this live i told her this is her signature piece this right here is so pretty to me and then i like it because she got a baby fatty clip <laughs> so this is the mama fatty and this is the baby fatty and this is so cute like i need to find these clips because i just like the clips itself so i keep all of my little clips in this dish so if i want to swap them out this is another one that came from sassy bows i thought this was so cute the way it dangled and then she made this for my birthday. Because y'all know I do hair. Look at this. So I'm more of a side game chick. <laughs> I don't, um, wait, I walked away. Sassy bows and charms. She made those. Um, so, yeah, I'm, um, you know what I'm saying? You got to figure out what you want. Like, you're not going to know till you try or till you watch somebody else. And like I said, I carry a backpack. And then I also, I keep my planner in my pouch. So with the side game, it would always like, you know, come off. Even when I had my B6, it would just be in the way. So with that being said, blah, blah, blah. So let's get into the setup. So as everyone know... I did an unboxing of the Villa Beautiful kit and I fell in love with the colors for the season and I'm going to actually do her stuff as my setup along with, um, I'm going to add some stuff from my girl Tiffany because her kit for March, you guys, is fire. 
And when I say the girls go perfectly, it goes perfectly. So I got a whole lot of stuff going on. What's this right here? This is nothing. So, Tiffany, I meant to tell you. So, when she made these girls, um, she was like, this girl is ginormous. But she's going to fit in my 8.5. So, keep making the big girls. We like the Amazons. So, I think you should keep this as an option in your shop. So, we're going to have her. We're going to have her little sister and the bouquet. Like these die cuts go perfect. Wait, so I tried to go get this after I saw you. Yeah, she was sold out because you have, she does her kits a month in advance. However, if you subscribe to her website, she does have a few extras left and she will send out an email to let you know. Now the kicker is you have to have trigger finger, unfortunately, um, you know, I struggled with having a hard time ordering because her stuff is so like bomb. It sells out so fast. Um, so you're going to have to definitely make sure that you go on there. However, if you don't get it, I highly recommend you get her kit um, that she has coming out for March because the colors are very similar. Yeah. Um, so when you subscribe to her email list, you get an email letting you know when she got new VB pin releases, when um, the kits are for sale, uh, and if she has extras and all of that good stuff. So, and I, if any of y'all are go, doing go wow, she does. She is about to do some go wow, um, something with go wow. And I'm sure it's going to be fire. I think I might just order even if I don't go to go out. I got to go get the boss man, Glenn Jr. I will work. Okay. Go get my little, my little buddy. So what we're going to do first is to set up the inserts. Now what I did. So the, this is what I did this time. And I'm going to tell you why. Because she always... Well, I'm not going to say always, but the last few kits, she always gives you pockets. And I did not want to put these pockets on my reusable dashboards because once they're on, they're on. And I was like, I'm going to have all these pockets and not use them. So what I decided to do was to actually just laminate the actual cardstock paper that came with it. That way, I can always have these. So say I want to use this in June, it's, I can pull this back out and use it and it'll already have all the pockets on here. So these were all, let's see. So these four right here, these were the papers that came with her paper kit. Um, so when you get her kits, they do not come with paper. You have to get the paper plus um, I mean, you get the basic kit plus paper. So I think it's like $10 more, but it's so worth it because you get this paper as well as you get some vellum. And then she sends you a link for the digital downloadable paper and um, artwork. So that's how I was able to get these. And this is actually four sheets. So this is one sheet and this is the other sheet. So I made my own by running it back and forth. And this is one sheet and that's the other sheet. Now I did make pockets in all of my planners. I wanted pockets in all of them. Um, so that's what I did. So let's go ahead and figure out what's gonna be the first one. I really think I want this one to be the first pocket. I mean the first cover. I like to switch it up between like dark and light and then like florals and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna do this one right here. Yeah, that's gonna be my weeks. This one will be that my let me see. Do this one because that one has glitter. Then do this one, this one, and then this one. Okay. 
what weight of lamb do you? It's the three millimeter. Um, and again, when you go, if you missed, um, Don, if you missed the video, I did show, um, this is the Scotch thermal laminate pouches that I use. It's a hundred pocket, a hundred pouches. I get this off of Amazon for $9.99. Um, which is probably the cost of one insert cover if you was to make, I mean, dashboard cover you to make it yourself. Um, if you are interested in getting this, if you go to my Amazon shop, the link is down below in my description box. I do have that on there as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these in. Now, I really want to use these. These are her... Um, tabs and her these tabs are super super sturdy so i think i definitely i'm going to use the weeks um and i may use these too and i think i might layer these over top of them but we'll see i might do this now or might do it later um so yeah with so with this one planner challenge you guys it's just been you know i've just been like God, please help me get through this. <laughs> because I really, really love using my planner, my B6. Like, I can literally do without the other ones. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm trying to figure out. I think I'll do this one in here. And I like to do every other This one has one. I don't think I like that one right there. Let's see. I did this one here. This is upside down. I'm sorry if I get quiet. I'm just trying to figure out the pockets alrighty so we're gonna put this pocket in here with this one and I'm not trying to be matchy matchy but I don't want it to be super um, because it's kind of, I mean it's clear so it's, it's gonna blend in so I like to put my secretary secretary or secretary whatever you call it pockets close to the edge that way if i have longer you know wider pieces of paper i can fit them right in there oh that's pretty so see i'm just gonna sit this in here for now so y'all can kind of see how it works isn't that gorgeous do you always use car stock to actually okay so the cardstock is what she sent me. The paper that I use when I print my inserts as well as my dashboard covers, I use um, the printer paper is the heavy paper. Um, I can't remember the size right off the top of my head. Um, is it a three pound? I don't know, but it's the heavier um, paper. This is the paper that I use to print my inserts. Is the man, E. Michelle, if you're still on here, what paper is this? Because every time I ask you, you never tell me. You just send it to me, and then I end up throwing this stuff away. <laughs> I mean, the cover away. Um, but I use this paper. It's a little bit thicker than regular printer paper. But that's what I use when I print my inserts as well as my um, dashboard covers. So I don't use cardstock. So then this is the next one. And all I'm doing right now is just adding my pockets, the regular paper. I think it's 32. I think it's 32. But if Michelle is on here, she'll be able to tell you a lot better than I can. Okay, I'm loving my picks. I'm loving my picks. Because, like, on this paper, it make it look like the colors are darker than it really is. Thanks, Juicy. 
Do you always use? Oh, you was you was saying when I asked me a question. Yeah. So I want to say it's it's. I don't know. Don't quote me. Uh, what I will do is find out, and then once I find out, I'll let you know for sure. Is your IG name Juicy Plans too? Juicy Fly Plans, I mean. Because I'll find out. Because I'm a researcher. And that's the funny thing. Like, okay. Yeah. Um, I, I, I like the heavier paper. But I get mad when I mess up. And I got to reprint. It be driving me insane. Okay. So it comes with two pen loop holders. So I'm going to add those on here as well. Um, I like to add a pen loop to my weeks. So this is going to be my weeks insert. And I think I want to do this pink. And what I like to do before I put my inserts in, I put my pen in because I like to make sure that it's um, not going to be too high. Cause I like my pens to be like right like this. I don't like them to be like this. I don't like them to be that low. Um, just like this. This is fun. Like I can't see me doing a video doing this, like setting up. Cause I already be struggling with the fact that sometimes my videos be like over 20 minutes and I'm sure this is gonna take a minute to do y'all don't do this at home I stay pointing knife this way this is on here real good there we go Where's my tweezers? this is on here real good that's a good thing. At least let me know that the sticky sticky is sticky. What diamond say? Stay sticky. I always get it wrong. I think I got it right this time though. Okay. And you know, once you place this stuff down, you can take it off. Because I've actually taken mine off and moved it before. And y'all, I already messed up. But you see it came right off because it needs to be on the inside. <laughs> okay, that's one and that's in my weeks. And let's see. That's one, two, so I want this one. To go in here hey see Lily so for all y'all that are just joined on on this is the second half of part three um, the first part I showed how to make laminate dashboard covers with pockets and so if you missed it, I will keep my live up. You know, I normally do keep my Sunday lives up. Um, and you can rewatch it. It was, I did that intentional. I wanted to put that on first. Okay. I wanted to put that on first because I have had a lot of people ask me how I made them. And then with those pockets, like I said, um, if you want to take your car stock and make paper, like permanent dashboard covers, um, you do the same thing, but instead of putting the 
other laminate inside the laminate. You just put your dashboards and it doesn't come out. So it's permanent. And I did that too because the paper is so beautiful and I hate when I put paper as covers in my planner and then the sides start bending and it's just like with die cuts. Like if you use the same die cut all over all the time, like with this one, like this is how the car stock is. And if you don't laminate them and you, like if I use this all the time, I would laminate it because I don't want it to bend or rip. Um, so if you have something that you use all the time that is made like this, laminate it is gonna be the best bet. But I'm, I take mine out, so I don't, you know, I don't really plan on laminating them. Where do I get most of my supplies? Um, It just depends. Uh, I feel like I don't wanna put this right here. Yeah, I want to put this one on here, so I'm going to switch this out. Um, it really depends. Hey, Donna. I got two Donnas, Donna Mac, Donna Jones. It depends. If you have something specific that you, um, you know, are looking for. Because um, I get stuff 90% of the time. I get my stuff off of Amazon. In regards to like um, my papers, my laminate, um, but um, like with my pens and stuff, I get from different shops. And most of the shops that I get my stuff from, I do always list it. Um, or either like my favorite shops are in the description box. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to getting her together. Hey, Tisha, welcome back. So she came, um, the kit came with this really cute dangly charm. So I'm going to go ahead and clip that on the back of her. And like I told you, her name is her. <laughs> so look at that. That is super cute. And so this kit... Um, this set I'm gonna go with gold accents. Last um, month I did silver accents. So my first insert is always my month. So we're gonna go ahead and get her in here. And then I didn't round the corners on these. I might do it at a later date, but I didn't this time. Look at that. Gorgeous. And what I want to do, because I will, this will be a permanent cover, I love these little things. And I could not find these. And so my planner says, um, she ended up finding some for me. And then when I went to Hobby Lobby, I found some. So that was cool. And normally I don't put these down on the actual planner. However... Um, cause what I like to do is, let me see, let me see, because I normally, mm -mm. y'all got stuff all over the place. I'm gonna have a whole lot of stuff to clean up. So like with my reusables, I don't stick them down. Like I said, this was silver, so I just keep them on the plastic. And these are actually smaller ones, but I just keep them on the plastic and shove them in there. But this time I'm going to use them. If I can figure out how to take it off. Uh -oh. That was an epic fail. Okay, maybe I'm not going to take that off because that just did something funky. My little rhinestone came off. I'm scared. Yeah, mama. Okay. <laughs> this is messy. I'm not messy, it's just scary. I'm gonna put this right here. Like I said, this is oh she a little crooked, y'all. Okay, 
Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Hey girl! I don't know what he in there watching. Yo, this is like like doing surgery. Okay, I got her on it. This is cute. So then the next one is my weeks. And just to kind of show you, um, so with my weeks, I get my weeks right now. I've been getting them from the digital dash box. And because I don't have any legal paper and I struggle to get it to work, I've been just using the B6. And then I just increased the size to 110. And the reason I increased it to 110 is because it has the um, the borders to show you where to cut it. In order for me to get rid of the borders, I have to increase it to um, 110. The boxes are a little bit bigger, but uh, does that bother me? Not really. Would I prefer it to be the right size? Yes. But, you know what I'm saying? Stuff happens. And... Um, so just to kind of show you what I did, uh, so anytime she get, does her kiss, yay, yes, I'm so excited about our meetup. I'm going to talk about that too as well. Um, so with the digital dash, when she does her um, inserts, they're dated. So this came dated um, February the 25th as a start date. Now, I don't get it. I don't change my inserts out until the well she doesn't actually put these out until the first so technically i can't use it because the first are on a friday so uh, what i decided to do this month was because i am using one planner for the planner challenge it's 32 pounds thanks lisa um juicy is 32 pounds um so what i decided to do is i printed out some grid paper and I just glued it down on that week that I'm not using. And this is where I'm going to do my um, monthly bills. So I just used um, some clear label sticker paper. And I just wrote um, on a Windows document, monthly bills and my expenses. I'm not all super into like um, sinking funds and, you know, snowball and all of that stuff. So I just do keep it basic until I graduate. So this is where I will list my bills, the due date, date paid, the amount of what I actually pay. Because sometimes you got to pay less. Sometimes you got to pay more. And then this is where I keep my expenses, the date that I pay, bought whatever, the description of the expense, the amount. And I did C for cash and D for debit because I don't use credit cards. Um, and then here is my paydays. So how I do my paydays, because I said it, um, before, I'm a hairstylist, so I don't get paid weekly or t every two weeks or bi-monthly. I get paid every day, but I still like to um, keep a track of what I'm getting paid. So normally on Monday, I calculate what I made for that week. And so that's this is where I'm going to put this. And then my goal is to try to save, you guys. So each week, I'm going to put what I saved in my little piggy bank. And this is where I'll put my total. Um, so I thought this was real creative again. Uh, another way to make this work for me for the One Planner Challenge. Um, this sticker's a little crooked. Um, so, you know, I always give y'all a sneak peek because if you rock with me on my live, you deserve it. And plus, y'all still go back and watch my um, Plan With Me's. Now, before I flip over to the page, um, most of y'all have probably already seen my Sisterhood of the Traveling Plan. And I told y'all how I scrant struggle with um, writing my plans. So I don't technically do plan with me's. I do more of a planner, you know, weekly setup. Um, and some of you have put in my comments that y'all would like to see me write down my plans. So I may do it from time to time. I'm not going to promise. Um, it's just going to all depend on the link of my video because, to be honest, when I film the actual planning process, it's like about 30 minutes. And then after I edit it and speed it up, it breaks it down. Most of my <laughs> videos is me running my mouth. And I try not to talk so much, but 
like I'm doing now, I just feel like I have to explain things. So as I'm explaining things, I start talking. So most of the time, my intro is like five minutes and my outro is like six minutes. Yes, y'all hit the like button. Um, thanks, Diamond. Uh, so I try not to... I try not to go over 20 minutes. Sometimes it just happens. And I appreciate y'all for rocking with me the whole time for those that watched the whole video. But that's neither here nor there. So I didn't write my plans down. You say you like the way I talk and explain. I guess that's the, um, I don't know what it means. <laughs> but, um, so I didn't talk out i didn't write my plans in my video um but i'm about to turn the page and you'll kind of see some of the plans that i've written down after the fact so this is my spread for next week you said it ain't that bad that's because i took my time in that video and i sped it up i took my time and i sped it up that's all um so yeah so this was this is my um spread for this week this is a kit from um maddie posa studios and i'm on her pr team and i do have a discount code in the description box for her as well she has some amazing kits as well as some cute little doll stickers um that i might put in here as i plan for the week um but i just i'm a plan as i go i don't only write the things that i know a hundred percent that i got going on I don't write my stuff until that day. So like tomorrow I'll actually fill in stuff that I'm that I complete for the day. That's how I do my plans. The stuff that I know I need to do, I put in there, but for the most part, I'm not did I freeze up? Oh, I froze up. Nobody said anything. <laughs> so I don't I've been over here talking. Did y'all hear me? How long have I been frozen, you guys? So I don't know how long I've been frozen, but um, all I was saying is I don't do a lot of um, writing out my plans because my handwriting sucks. Uh, but this is my spread for this week. This video, you did hear me? Okay. Yeah, so this is my spread for the week. I don't do a lot of actual planning within the video because it takes me a while to write. My handwriting is that isn't that great. Um, but all I was saying for the time that I noticed that I was frozen um, is because y'all rock with me, I give y'all a little bit of preview. So this is my spread. This kit came from Maddie Posa um, Studios, in which I'm on her PR team, and the link is in my description box if you want to purchase any of her things she has some cute stickers and it's so amazing uh-oh daddy up <laughs> so i really wasn't saying anything so i'm gonna try to do more actual planning in my videos but i am the type of planner that i plan as i go i write the stuff that i know 100 percent that i gotta do but the stuff that i'm not sure I don't write until that day. So like on tomorrow, I know I'm getting my nails done. I know I want to treat myself to foe. I know I got to go mail this planner out. And I know I'm going to film. Um, but it's other things that I may do. And I won't write that in until I do them. So that's how I plan. So this is my weekly spread. My weekly, my weeks, my B6 weeks. And right now I'm just doing the meat first. I'm laying the, the meat first. So we're going to put... Let me see. We're gonna put this one right here. <laughs> so this is my B6 weeks. So this is my insert that I'm using. Hey, Southern Tea Time. So this is the insert that I'm using for my PR team stuff. Now, most of you saw me do a picture where I am doing it inside of my B6, but because this is my every my planner for the month i wanted to make sure everything that i needed was in here so all i did was increase the size um i don't do live planning videos that often i just yeah, I, I really don't um but if that's a request hey throw it in a request <laughs> i'm willing to do anything at least once Why? Right? as long as it's morally correct so this is um hey tara so this is my PR insert, and it's the same insert that is in my B6. I just um, increased the size, 
And this is my little setup for the week. Um, I don't really plan on filming. I'll just do flip throughs. And so all I do is just put, you know, that I'm going to do IG posts, Happy Mail, YouTube, any new releases. And then I'll just add in on the days that I'm going to be doing stuff on here. And I just thought I would use this cute washi tape from Simply Gilded. So let's go ahead and add the, inst um, the dashboard cover for this one. And we're going to skip because I did... Let me see. I did dark. So we're gonna do this one right here. And I think this one matches good because I used the and um the blue. And this um girl sticker on the front came from stickers by Rhonda. And I do have her link in my description box as well as a discount code. And this Ollie clip I got off of Etsy and it came with a, a set of washi. I mean it's a set of those. So this next one is going to be my wellness insert and I'm going to put, I'll probably create a little sticker on here or use a sticker and I will be filming a plan with me and this will post on Wednesday um, because y'all know I've been struggling to try to stay on this wellness journey and losing weight and it's been hard, but I really want to try to be more intentional. So y'all hold me accountable, slide in my DMs and be like, Keisha, what you doing? Is you, uh, is you in the gym? What you doing, girl? So we're going to put, I don't really need anything fancy right there. So we're going to put this one right here. Because I do have a, um, what do you call that? I have a Zumba guide and I want to be able to put my Zumba guide in here. So we got that. Y'all, she getting chunky. The wellness insert, I'm glad you asked, It's from the 1407 Planner Company. Y'all know I love the 1407 Planner Company. Her paper is the bomb. This got to be like 50 pound paper. <laughs> I don't know. I could just be joking. So this is the only insert in here that I have not printed. All the other inserts I printed myself. Um, but this, um, when I do order inserts, nine times out of ten, I'm getting them for, I mean, from 14... 07 company no it's the 1407 planner i always want to say company get it together keisha it's the 1407planners.com they have amazing amazing inserts oh hey miss elaine i didn't even see you slide in here thank you so this next one is just note paper and so i have been i just keep this and i i have a actual printable um, download for this and because this will be my only planner I will be doing my faith planning in here which I think is gonna be fun and I'm gonna tell you why because doing this um, when Lisa and I did the um, God loves for me um, reading plan for February I saw so many ladies do amazing spreads and I saw this one young lady she used the insert so I said I'm gonna use this for that and we're going to put this one here and here. Y'all, she getting thick. And I still got more layering to do. <laughs> and see how that little groove right here that I was telling y'all about, how it just makes it easier on your bands. And so my last insert is my address part. And I know y'all be like, why are you using an address thing? Because I want to. No, I'm just joking. Um, because sometimes I'm out and about and I might be at the post office and, you know, I have my planner with me. And I mean, why not? <laughs> so this is the last insert. And I actually put this in the wrong spots. But no, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I have a pin in the front and a pin in the back because I wanted my pin loops. I didn't want my pin loops to be super close. Like I said, this was originally a four insert planner and I made it six inserts. Now this actually goes with a standard size planner and I want to take this piece out, but I keep this piece here to kind of cover up like my, the back of this and I keep my stamps and things like that in here. Um, and some of this stuff I'll probably 
update a little bit later because you know i don't like to stay on here too long and it's already been like over two over an hour so i have all of my inserts in here and i did want to put this one on there as well you know i was married so i want everything with my initials my husband be like oh you got oh you you got my name you got my name i sure do so let's see where we're gonna put this one i normally put them like back to back so let's put this one here You know, I got a mess in here. I like to clean as I go. And that's how I do even when I'm cooking. I like to clean as I go. I think I want to put this one right here. What insert is this? I want to put it right here. This is my faith one anyway. So I'm going to put this one here. This one went down a lot easier. Okay. So now let's start putting our bread and our lettuce in here. So I don't have a lot of these. So these are only going to go in. Let's see. I got one, two, three. I got four of these. And I only got two vellums. And I need to get more. I thought I had more vellum, but I don't. So what we're going to do, these two actually came in the VB kits. Um, and because it's an A5, I didn't have to cut it at all, at all. And so these two I got from, I think, Michael's or Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to actually... Do the white first. And I'm going to do... And what I did this time, I actually put the silver on the outside and the gold on the inside. So we're going to put these in together. It'll make it slide in easier because the vellum is more sturdy. So remember, we're doing bread, lettuce, meat. But I did it backwards. I did the meat first. <laughs> So that's in that one. And so I'm going to actually skip back here to my faith section. And I wanted to do this one. With this one and this one I did the gold on the outside because you know when you get this vellum it's normally two-tone and if you think about it having the vellum keeps the acetate from sticking to the plastic of your dashboard covers um, so I will probably be I'm tomorrow oh, I ripped it oh my gosh oh my gosh I ripped it you guys that's okay Nobody's gonna know but me and y'all and God. It ripped it. The paper that I'm writing with, you mean for the inserts? Okay, so I'm gonna put this vellum carefully over top of my weeks in which I'm going to get some um, more acetate. Hopefully tomorrow I can find some. It's just they don't have a variety. That's the only thing that bothers me. Thanks, sis. My um, paper for my inserts um you can get it off of Amazon. I don't know the brand because for some reason my little self always um, throws the wrapping away. Um, but it's 32 pound paper. Hey, coffee. Okay, so look, y'all, we're getting there. 
we're getting there. So, remember I was saying how this doesn't give me anywhere to put stuff. So, the 1407 Planner Company, they sell things other than just inserts. Um, the black and the clear. The black and the clear, the black and the clear. I'm not sure what you're talking about. So, because I don't have anywhere to actually put, like, all of my die cuts, I got these. And these are, um, like, little secretarial style, um, dashboards. And I got these because I can actually, like, put, if I want to put my die cuts in, they have a pocket to go in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one around the outside of this main planner with this main insert. And so all I would do, because I think she matches really good. I'm going to put her right there along with this bouquet. Let's see how that looks. That looks really cute. Doesn't that look cute, you guys? And so on the other side, if I want, I can put something there. But I'm going to do this. She had these really cute pocket cards. So I'm going to put this one this way. Okay, maybe that's a little too big. Let's see. Does she fit in here? Let's try her in here. Some of my pockets I made. Where did you get her from? The die cuts came out of the kit from... These are actually B6 size, so this might be a little bit too small. These girls came from Le Sink Out, Shop LCA. And her shop will reopen on March the 11th, you guys. So make sure you check her shop out on March the 11th. And you can use my code 20HerLovely. Um, so let's see. I want to stick one of these cards in here. Breathing dreams like air. We're going to stick this one here like so. And I'm going to sit something else back there as well. So right here, I'm just going to put these um, sticky notes since I don't know what I'm going to do with that side. So here I have a smaller pocket. And let's put her right here. Doesn't she look cute right there? So, like I said, I have pockets here. Ugh. And see, this is what starts to make my planner chunky when I start adding stuff. So, this is where I'll put my little sticky note pad right here. So, I can have somewhere to get it. And, like, you don't have to always use die cuts and cute paper and things like that in your planners. You just do what you do. And so, like, sometimes, like, if you have, like, extra lamb um, acetate, like, this is extra, I could, like, let's see, if I want to cut this, that's why I said, don't throw away your scraps. One thing about Traveler's Notebooks, you can use your scraps. And since this goes with that, I can just put this, like, right there. Or, if I want the words to show, I'll just cut it shorter. Cutting paper is so much more different than cutting hair. <laughs> but this isn't technically paper. Let's see. So see, you got a little backing that's in here. And then if I wanted to, let me see, because I got scraps for days, y'all. So I wanted to add this in one of my planners. 
or in one of my inserts. Let's see. Yeah, I'm so mad I ripped that paper. That one doesn't match. You got the same paper, but I'm not going to put this in here, but I could put that right there if I wanted to. Like, I could cut this. Like, I mean, you can do whatever you want to do with your pockets. I know, right? And that's the thing, like, you want to make, create your planner so you can be like, I can use this all the time. And we're going to put her... Where am I going to put her at? I think I'm going to put her next to this card. And that's super cute. So, yeah, this is chunky, you guys. Now, look, so, see, as you add stuff, they start, she starts to get really chunky. And I think I am going to go through and clip these little ends off. Because now they're getting on my nerves. <laughs> are perfect not just to cut your um tins like if you don't like your papers in your inserts to be square you can round them in my b6 my um inserts are rounded but i actually like now that i've gotten these um 1407 planners i like um them being square this this planner is kind of heavy and it's only heavy because of the actual cover itself this is a very heavy cover so the cover itself is fairly heavy and I still got pockets for days you guys and like I said the way I use my pockets I just you know as I need to put stuff in there I put stuff in there Let me see, I wanna raise her up. And so I think what I wanna do is to put something behind her so she won't look so plain. And I could be using my um other cover, but let's see. I mean, I could be using my cutter, but I just don't feel like pulling her up, pulling her out, even though she's right here on the floor. Thank 
shoes. And it don't look plain. On the back, it's got like, like silver on the back. So let's see. Let's let's reel this thing in because I'm about to go. And I will show y'all more as I go. I'll probably do flip throughs on my um. I don't feel like I want to put this one. I'll probably do a flip through on my Insta stories. Um, and then also I'll probably share a little bit on my, um, you know, when I do videos, just so y'all can kind of see what's going on. And like I said, anytime you do a setup, and this is another reason I don't like to do setup videos, because... I just never, um, I don't know how I want my stuff to be when it's all said and done. Like, I'm never, like, really sure if that's how I want it. So, I'll be moving around. I'm really sad that I tore this part. I'm really sad, and I feel like I want to cut it. I'm really sad. But this is super cute, y'all. What y'all think? Do y'all think this is cute? Like I said, like just add little pops of your vellum. I mean, your acetate as decoration. Thanks, Miss Elaine. I know what you meant. Very, 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 very. many things that you can put in these pockets you don't just have to be limited to and I have some other stuff I want to put some more floral type things in here I might actually even take this out this month let's see See what I got in here. And some of this stuff for real, I don't even use. And I can stick, I got this whole pocket right here that I could just stick stuff in. Like I might leave this in here for now. And all I do in this is just random stickers. Hey Nikki, just random stickers that I might need. And like I have my um contact cards in here so like if i go to the post office on the whim like if somebody say hey if you're at the store can you buy x y and z for me and i like to put my contact cards and stuff when i can remember um yeah there's nothing major in here that i need this bar right here is real cute this came from oop that's the sign that i need to retire this this actually came from Shop LCA as well. And all I did was take a, a card and then put this on top of that card. So we can do this like this. Look, 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 look. Bam. And look how it matches this so perfectly. And then I can take these other little cute things. Because sometimes you have like your signature pieces that you like to use all the time in your planners. And you know, I got to have anything coffee in my planner. Let's see. Put that right there. And like, and you know, because this is um, like a laminated pocket. It sticks to this, so you don't even really have to, if you don't want to, put anything behind it because it's already like that. So, yeah, so for my planner peeps that don't have 
the pockets this is perfect to put in your inserts so you can have extra pockets and i do plan on making me some whatchamacallits i keep forgetting the name of it washi cards so i can have them popping out of this and then i might put a nice cute little piece of paper here so it won't be so plain looking and maybe something back here but for now this is it I will add my bling on the sides. Um, and since I am doing gold, more than likely, I will be adding this beautiful bow from Sassy Bows. I got this one. Um, I like this pink bow right here. Let's see what else I have. This shoe. Uh, I definitely got to add this right here from my planner, sis E. Michelle. Um, I'm not going to use this one because I don't think I'm going to do black. Yeah. Those are, it's a one, two, three, four, five, five. So, I don't even remember. I know, I think these three came from Mini Rose Co., this one came from Sassy Bows and Charms, and this one came from Elaine Michelle Studios. And make sure y'all check out Elaine Michelle Studios because she got some planner charms in which y'all see I don't have no charms dangling from my planner, so I gotta order me some of those. Um, that way I can have some more bling. Like I like the um, charm bookmarks, um, but the top game is not for me at all. Um, and I just need to decide what pen I'm going to use and it's a no brainer. This is the pen that came with the kit, the refresh pit, the refresh pen. So let's go ahead and put her in here. And you guys, so I'm going to wrap up. Um, I know a couple of people already said that they need prayer. Um, and I will be praying. This pen right here is like my new jam from Scribbles by KP. She's on Instagram. It's, I mean, Etsy as well as Instagram. Um, this is like a fine tip felt pen. Not felt, but gel pen. If I can get in. That's the only thing about this pen. Oops, they be so tight. But that's good because you don't want to lose your pens, girl. Oh, look how perfect it matches. Oh. And I got this in gray, too. So we'll fi figure this out later. But for the most part, I am super happy with the way it turned out. And again, this is why I don't do live play with me or set us because whew, I feel pressure. <laughs> Because I feel like, I mean, it's it's more that I need to do and I want to do, but I don't want to be on here before you any longer than I already have. Um, and then side note, um, when you get these VB kits, like this background stuff, like you can cut this off and add it to your kit, um, I mean to your setup. I do that sometimes as well, but... I'll fool with that probably tomorrow because I'm off after I get my nails done. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add our clips. I'm going to definitely add this one first. And typically I try to add my clips um, on the pages where I've, I've finished. And this is my setup in my monthly view as well. And this is um, a combination of washi from the VB kit as well as some Simply Gilded washi um and all i'll do is just put this one i'm gonna start at the bottom and i try not to put them too low that's one let's See, I'm gonna put this heel right here, and I just try to stagger them. I 
And this next one, let's put this purple one, this purple ball. That's cute, but I feel like it needs to be more dangly. So we're gonna put this one in the back. We're gonna put this one right here. if I didn't say hey I'm over this joint focus I'm focused man this is my fake one look how cute that is y'all and then this bowl I'm gonna put this ball right here on my wellness. And we're gonna put this one a little bit higher. Yes, y'all. Look at my side game. Super cute. Can you see it? Look, I'm <laughs> I'm holding it up to my iPad like y'all can see it. This is so cute. So I think I like more of the side game with the clips versus the top game. Um, because like I said, it always tends to come off. Now, the only thing I need now is like a bow or something cute to put on my ring. And look how pretty these colors are with the, with the pins. It matches so cute. Girl, my happy planners are dusty. Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Like, I love these. I mean, because you just, I mean, like, don't get it me to get it, me ugh, get it wrong. With happy planners, you can still kind of customize and do things like that. But this one, like, you keep the cover that you love. You can get the inserts and at first i wasn't an undated type of person but i'm loving the undated because some weeks if i don't get the plan i don't have to worry about a whole week that i'm wasting um so i need a planner one a uh, one one nine insert <laughs> um but yeah I, i'm loving i'm loving the tns like for real y'all y'all don't understand the love that I have for the TN. Like, I just want to... That's why I call her her, because I just want to love her. just want to love her. <laughs> Thanks, Nikki. Um, yeah, so like I said, I want to put something here. Um, I don't know what I want to put here. Um, I like the bows, but then I don't like the bows. Um, but I don't know. Who knows, y'all? <laughs> I'm going to put this right here. <laughs> I gotta figure out because like the the bows are cute, but the bows aren't my jam. That's not my jam. Like I feel like I need something, either like a charm piece or something. Um, you know, I I gotta figure it out. Um, I mean maybe even something like a dangle like this that'll just clip on there. I don't know. If anybody have any suggestions or if anybody's crafting, y'all want to make me something, my P.O. box <laughs> is listed below. Um, yeah, I think I just want something more dangly than a, a bow. Like, even maybe like something like this, but not too big. Who knows? But this is giving me life, you guys. So, one planner challenge. Um, this is going to be my plan I'm going to be using. Now, I will still be doing videos in my classic. Um, I am going to do a plan with me and my mini. Hopefully, that will be posted tomorrow. My plan will be for my 8-5 um, weeks will be posted Tuesday. The wellness will be posted on Wednesday. Throwback Thursday and my classic will be posted on Thursday. Friday is normally my bonus video time. And... Um, what else? That's about it. Um, we did pick a winner for the God's Love For Me chat, um, reading plan. Um, I'm just waiting for her to respond back before I announce who the winner is. 
Um, I'm super excited about that. Prayerfully, Lisa and I will get moved by the Spirit to bring something to you guys in April. Um, but again, with the One Planner Challenge, my disclaimer, I will still be filming in my other planners. I don't plan in my happy planners, but I still film because I still believe that it is my mission to show you how to create functional yet decorative spreads, whether it's in your traveler's notebooks or in your happy planners. Um, I, I still love a happy planner mini, especially decorating it, um, but I just love my traveler's notebook. Um, what about those felt? You know, I was thinking about the flowers. I was thinking about the flowers. Um, but, uh, if you know somebody that makes them, tag me on IG. Because I'd rather buy them. I need a schedule now to keep up with your schedule. <laughs> well, I try to, I try to be consistent with my schedule. Um, but the plan is... Mondays is mini Mondays. I try to keep up with the hashtag themes as well. So Mondays, I'm going back to mini Mondays. So I need to film that tonight. <laughs> so it could be up tomorrow. Tuesdays is tea and Tuesdays. So it's always going to be either my A5 or once March is over my B6. Um, because what I realize, um, because I look at my analytics and things like that and see what you guys really like. And I realize doing two weekly spreads in my b6 and my a5 is kind of redundant because it's kind of the same layout so some weeks i might do my b6 or some weeks i might do my a5 um but you'll always get a weekly um plan with me on tuesdays for trap for tn tuesdays wednesdays is going to be wellness wednesdays and it'll either be a plan with me in my wellness section of my insert i mean on my travels notebook or it might just be an update Thursdays, I just think classic is reminiscent of a throwback. So we're going to call it Throwback Thursdays. I'm going to do classic planner plan with me's. And then, like I said, on um, Fridays and Saturdays, if I have like an unboxing or something like that, those are my bonus days. And then on Sundays, I will be doing my faith planner. Only reason I didn't do my faith planner this Sunday because I posted a video for the Sisterhood of the Traveling Planners. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check that out if you have time after this one. I know it's probably someone else that'll be going on live in a little while, um, but make sure you check that out. And I tried to make sure I schedule all of my videos to post in the morning. Um, so always look out for the AM post, not unless something comes up. And normally I will simultane simultaneously post the actual picture on my Instagram, which will kind of alert you if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the notification bell. The IG will be like, oh, I just posted a new video on YouTube of this spread, blah, 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 blah. So that being said, um, this is all I'll be using. Now I am on the PR team for Savvy B planners in which... Um, I committed to promoting um, those planners. It's a really cute planner, unique. I'm going to use it to document my analytics. So I'm not really planning. I'm just documenting in that planner. So if you, I won't be filming probably. I'll just be posting pictures. So if you see a picture, don't be like, oh, Keisha cheated. She planning in another planner. No, I'm just documenting my analytics so I can provide content and promote for this company um the owner of the company she's so sweet and you know sweet people nice people melt my heart and you know i'm excited about that planner and i did do a review and y'all you guys pretty much kind of like the review and y'all know how i do mine so i always give y'all a sneak peek um so all i've done is decorated the monthly view um and this is what the monthly view looks like in the planner. If you haven't watched the video, um, this is what it looks like. But you know me, I had to jazz it up. And so I just, you know, went ham, eggs, and bacon with the washi, used some date dots. Um, and what else? And what I did uh, I on, on the clear label paper, I just wrote... You know, IG followers, subscribers, watch hours, views, um, analytics. So, you know, this is just for my, this is 
solely for documentation. I'm not planning in here. Um, what I, I'm trying to figure it out how I'm going to do it. Um, this is the weekly view. I need to figure out how I'm going to set this up. Um, but I'll probably, again, wash it all up because I'm not using it for any of this stuff. Um, so, yeah. But right now, this is the monthly. And I'll put, you know, what my stats are every day. Because the purpose is, well, the initial purpose was not to be a content creator. But stuff happens. And... If I'm going to be consistent with it, I want to monitor it and track it and make sure that, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing what I need to do. Um, so I just want to make sure that I'm watching my growth because my growth will determine how hard, how much harder I need to go in being a YouTuber. But yeah, so if y'all want this, um, I do have a discount code for 10% off. That's also in my bio. And you know, if I'm going to enable you, I'm going to at least try to help you save some coins. But yeah, I am feeling this. Like, I just wanna, just wanna hold her. Just wanna, just wanna hold her. I wanna hold her. <laughs> Thanks for all this information you have gained in this subscribe. We really made. Oh, thank you, C. Lily. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. So, if you are new, um, just to let you know, at the end of my lives on Sundays, I do pray. Typically, I do more face-to-face -face videos on Sundays, but I wanted to do a setup video on this um, because, again, a, a lot of people had asked me about how to make the dashboard um, inserts um, in which these are the ones that I made. These are the B6 ones. I made it with a secretarial pocket, and then I made one with just a regular pocket. Um, so, yeah, so if you missed this part of the video, the first 30 minutes is showing you how I made these. Um, so make sure that you watch the replay on that as well. Um, but with that being said, I'm closing because I'm exhausted. It's been a long time since I did a, a DIY and that is tiring. I did a DIY and a setup and I still got, got to film at least my mini video. That's tab. That's tab, mama. I need some jelly beans. So, <laughs> when I did my um, plan of babe tag video, I put something about my snacks. And I've gotten new snacks since then. Jelly, gummy, gummy bears are my new snacks that I keep um, next to my planner. Um, well, on my planner desk. So, I will snack on these. Mainly if I'm like here just doing stuff. When I'm filming, I don't really eat anything. But while I'm writing in my planner, watching YouTube videos, anytime I'm at my desk, I eat these. Um, and I'm going to send my friend Diamond and Tiffany from Let's Sink Out these ones because they like the, what is it, the um the gold bag. What is it, gold, har harbor, har what is it, harbor? What's the ones y'all got? I like them too until I ate these. And these right here may change your mind. And they're a little more affordable. So be checking out for some gummy mail. Yeah, Harbor. Harbor. I can't never say it. Harbor. <laughs> I can't say it. But yeah. Um, you said these are the best? Yes, these are so good. I wish they came in sour though. I like the sour. I haven't found the sour if they do come in sour. But these are good. They're fat free, gluten free, and low in sodium. And they come in the butterfly size, um, butterfly shapes. So yeah, so mm, I don't know why I put these in my mouth. <laughs> and I'm about to pray. Yeah, I'm looking at my craft bag. I got so much stuff in here. Harry Bow. Harry Bow. <laughs> yeah, Harbro, they have the um sour ones. Oh, I'm going to lower. Y'all, if y'all can see my floor. Look at this. 
Now I gotta reorganize all this stuff. But I mean, this is this is not bad. All I gotta do is just grab stuff up. And I would show y'all my face, but I don't have no eyebrows on. Sorry, I hope I didn't make y'all dizzy. I don't have no eyebrows on. My hair is a mess. Yeah. So, are there any prayer requests except for... I know I saw um, Diamond's aunt. Uh, she's still in the hospital. So, she know I got her another planner babe earlier. Let me see if I can go to them comments. She said pray for her family member. Felicia. Was it Felicia, huh? No, it wasn't Felicia. I can't find it. But someone asked me to pray, pray for a family member, so I will take the extra A5 sleeve. <laughs> what extra A5 sleeves? Oh, no, this, uh -uh, no, these are my reusable ones. I need my reusable ones, girl, because I might be having to use them at a later date. Yes, girl. You can't have them. You can't have these, sis. These go in my um. I was gonna put this back in there. My A5 jelly. I had dental surgery and a bad reaction. Oh no, no bad reactions. We gonna pray for all the debts. All the debts. Mm, what is this? Prayer request, my dad is in the hospital, heart condition, pray for my students, she just lost her mom. Y'all keep them coming in. Look, I'm trying to organize on the low while y'all give me y'all prayer requests. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I'm going to put this one on here, too. You sent me the DM? Okay, thanks, boom. Okay, so I just added this charm on the back of that. That's cute, because it goes with the pink. Oh, thank you, Felicia. Y'all don't know. Yes, pray for me. I be needing it. More so just for my continued strength. It can get so hard sometimes. And like when you pray for other people, it gets exhausting. Oh, yes, Tisha. I saw your post about your mom's home. And I really, really, it was my intention to reach out. Because that is not an easy thing to deal with at all. At all. Yes, increase, increase, increase. I'm going to cut these tips off. Or either of these bottoms. I'm digressing. I'm actually tired, y'all, myself. I don't give myself enough time to rest. So y'all pray for me to get some rest and some strength. So with all that, with all hearts and mind clear, we're going to go ahead and pray. And I'm going to put my hands up here. Um, so I make sure y'all can still see me because... If the screen frees up, I won't know because my hands aren't here. So, again, all hearts and mind clear. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you again for another opportunity to not only share 
my passion, my love, and my hobby with my planner friends, but just to share a moment in time with each and every one of these young, vibrant, beautiful women of God. And if there are any men on here, men of God as well. Lord, I ask that you hear the hearts and the minds of those who are standing in need of prayer. They have been many failed health issues that has happened, Lord God. They have been family members put in ICU, heart issues, fires, just a lot of things that happen, Lord God, in life that we do not wish on our family. So I pray that they have supernatural healing, Lord God. I pray that they'll have healing from the inside and out. I pray that not only that they will be healed from their infirmities, but also be healed from anything that is keeping them from you, Lord God. Lord, we pray for increase. We pray for an increase in finances. We pray for increase in careers and just opportunity after opportunity lord god lord god i pray that you continue to use me lord that you continue to allow me to to be a blessing to each and every people on this live lord god lord god i pray that there will be no interruptions that there'll be no no breaking of the yoke that we have with you lord god father i just ask that you give those traveling mercies that are traveling lord god i ask that you be there for them i ask that you guide them and give them safe travel lord it is i feel like the enemy is trying to attack this lab lord god i i just feel it lord and i rebuke it in the name of jesus lord Father God, I just ask that you just continue to bless us, to be with us, to guide us. Lord, it is in your name that I pray. Amen. So you guys, I don't know, something's weird going on my end of my channel. I don't know if y'all can still hear me. Um... But I just felt like the enemy was just trying to attack the live and there's nothing that he could do that prosper. And I just pray that, like I said, the enemy tried to distract me from that prayer. He really did. I looked up at my iPad and it's something that I normally don't do. And I know that he was trying to come for me because there's somebody on here that really needed that prayer. And God, and I apologize if I allowed that distraction to keep me from that person that needed to hear from you at this time. So, Lord, before I go, that person, that person that's on this live that is seeking you, but that don't know how to find you, Lord God, let them connect with someone, whether it be me, someone in their church, someone that can help give them what it is that they need so they can seek you because I'm not the answer. I'm just the light that you have appointed for this time, Lord God. You have appointed me to help lead them to you, Lord. So I'm asking who is ever on this line, who is ever on this line that is needing you, God, lead them to the light that's going to lead them to you. That's all I ask. I don't know who that person is. I don't need you to put nothing on here. I don't need you to DM me or email me, not unless you need me to really go in and intercede on your behalf. But God, we all touch and agree on this live for that person that needs you right now, that needs you right now, that needs you right now, Lord God. So God, I'm gonna end this live because my, my spirit, feels really full and I feel like I really need to go in because there's somebody on this live that needs to hear from you God that needs to hear from you yeah it's it, it's doing something crazy on my end too that's why I know it's somebody that needs this right now so you guys I love you thanks for joining um Thanks for rocking me. I feel like I've been I've been on here for a minute today. Um
Yes, we rebuked the enemy. We rebuked them. So for those of you that want to see how I did the um, B6, in which you can make it for any size. You just got to get your me measurements. Um, all of that's at the beginning of the video. So you guys, I love you. I thank you for joining me today. And I look forward for the 